Bye for baby, man. Baby. This week I'm in northern Thailand. Its mountainous landscape and lush jungles are an ideal environment for the Asian elephant. The animal is seen as the symbol of Thailand. Around 3,000 live in these wild forests. The country also has a captive elephant population of almost 4,000. Controversially, some of them work in the tourist industry. Caring for all of these elephants is a huge job. Particularly if the animal needs specialist medical attention. I've come to Lampang to meet some of the vets who are attempting this mammoth task. And when it was opened in 1993, this was the world's first elephant hospital. And since then, they've treated over 4,000 elephants. I'm here to meet some of them. The hospital aims to provide care for any sick or injured elephant in Thailand. What kind of patients do you, do you have? We have all kinds of illnesses, sicknesses, knife wounds, gunshot wounds, some have uh, diarrhea, constipation, cataract, some had serious like cancer, you know, tumor. The most difficult case are the victims of landmines. Good morning. morning. How are you? I'm Good to fine. see you. Dr. K takes me to meet some of her patients on her morning round. Hello. 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 There are lots of animals. Wow. So in the morning you have to go check up on the uh, the elephants themselves. Yes, every morning. Wow. She is huge. Yes. What's her name? Uh, her name Motala. Motala. Yes. She about fifty seven years old. And what happened to her foot? Uh, she stepped on landmine in hmm. Burma, and after that the owner bring Motala here and donate here. So she's one of the permanent residents? Yes. Mm -hmm. The hospital has five permanent residents who need round-the-clock care. The rest of the patients have been brought here by their owners for shorter-term medical treatment and operations. For Motala, each day starts with her prosthetic leg being fitted so she can walk out for breakfast. Wow, so this is the first other leg. Can I see it? Heavy. Whoa, so big. <laughs> that weighs a good at least 15 kilograms. Very heavy indeed. So her foot will go in here, and these are all formed specifically for the elephants themselves. So they're all different. So they're just putting some talcum powder to help with the dryness and of course the comfort. A layer of talcum powder on the inside as well. In the early morning and late afternoon, when the sun isn't too hot, Mortala will walk out for a few hours. And there you go. It's on. Mortala walk along here. Adult females weigh just under three tons on average. Try and get her breakfast. So the prosthetic is needed to give vital relief to her other three legs, which are under enormous pressure. How long did it take her to get used to the prosthetic leg? Uh, 
five to seven day. And then she gets used to it. Yes. Uh, so quick learners. She put quite a lot of weight on it. Mm. Checking over the elephants each day is part of the hospital routine. Wow. This one's a little bit smaller. <laughs> Mosha was also injured by a landmine and came here when she was just seven months old. She's now 11. And what are you looking for? She, she has uh, the wound inside. Mm -hmm. Dr. K has cared for her since the day she arrived. Why are you smelling <laughs> Mosha is good. Healthy? Mm -hmm. Yes. She's been eating her greens. How many of It's very friendly. This one belongs to Motala, uh, the old one, and that's Mocha because you know she's growing up. She's yeah. still young. Oh, that's true. So yeah. every so often you have to yeah, so have to get a new one, inside. get a taller. Right. Sarida so started the hospital after seeing elephants die because there was nowhere to treat them. So I told myself, okay, that's it. If no one is going to do it, I'm going to do it myself. There should be a place where elephants can be treated because there's no elephant hospital. The hospital is funded by donations and treatment is provided for free. The procedures are similar to what you'd see in a human hospital. Yeah. Finished. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> okay. Except on a giant scale. This elephant, Bunsi, has a stomach problem, so needs an IV drip to make sure she gets all the vitamins she needs. Because dealing with the elephant, they're being so high, they've had to get this kind of platform up here, and the IV drip goes all the way up to the top there. Obviously, it uses that gravity to push the medicine through the, the pipes. So one of the only soft spots of the elephant is actually on the ear or just behind the ear. So oh. the IV drip will go right there. Yeah. Yeah. After medicine, get treaties. Tourists can come here to see the elephants in their recuperation areas, but there are none of the shows and rides you might find at elephant camps elsewhere in Thailand. Some have called for a ban on using these revered animals in the tourist industry, but Sarida tells me that could also create problems. To ban them, then we have to have the solution. Where would these elephants be? You can't take 4,500 elephants back into the wild. How are we going to, to keep them you know, in a natural surroundings and in, in a way to earn some money you know, in order to, to treat them well? She's calling for a new law to protect Thailand's huge elephant population. They use the elephants for riding under hot sun, on hot concrete roads, all day long. Some camps don't even have shades for the elephants. So I'm asking the government to please set the rules. If they really prefer to have the riding, would it be like five minutes ride? Do you feed them along the way when they get hungry? If they stop, you know, the, the mahouts shouldn't be, you know, beating them to walk, things like that. The focus here is on working with elephant owners in the community to help any animal that needs medical attention. The baby! They also have a nursery section, and I'm fortunate enough to be able to see a newborn. This is definitely something special. Mama. So how old is the baby? Uh, nine days. Nine days, it is nine days. What's the baby's name? Uh, his name Mina. Mina. Yes. Wow, 
so small. Now these, I recognize, are banana flowers. And Dr. K tells me that they feed the mum banana flowers because it helps produce milk. It gives it vitamins and minerals. And she was just sucking there. She is like, hello, the curious one. Oh my God. The trunk is so small. It's humbling to see the connection Dr. K has with these animals as she gives baby Mina a checkup. It's amazing to see elephants like these that would have otherwise have died in the wild actually thrive here in the hospital. And spending time with Dr. K and Sarida and learning the ins and outs of what goes on here has been an absolutely amazing experience that I won't forget anytime soon. And if you want to see more of the elephant sanctuary, keep watching till the end of the show and we'll tell you when you can see our special 360 degree film of the amazing work going on there.